Good morning, folks. It's 0111 on the 25th day, 5th month, 2022, take four. I've been trying to share this now and up here for well over an hour. Getting an error query just like this, and I'm going to show it. Oh, I, don't, I can't. I put it on my wall. I'm getting very, very angry. So what I'm going to do is show you. This is the screen I'm sharing. And I can go from here. Um, right. I'm not doing weather forecast right now. I can't do it on one tab. Um, I'm going to show you something. Every time I've gone live, I've picked up the following uh, thing. Error. I'm going to go on live screen. It, do, it does this. I click the uh, share screen, right? Then I've, I've have all these things loaded up for y'all everything and I've been taking hours analyzing them and then I go live right in the buttons like it says you're live actually and sharing but when I go to end the video I come back and I get this so I've been wasting my time I really I have and I come back and I've done it again and I get that and I've done it again and I get that one of the shows was 45 minutes long I think I'm worn out so I'm going to try a, a weird way to do this. Okay, so just bear with me. This isn't the greatest tech. I'm going to do it on one screen, and you're going to bear with me, okay? This is how we're rolling tonight. That's what's been happening. All right, I ain't pulling no stunts. I'm trying my fucking ass in weather forecast tonight, and this ain't a clean one. I don't care. We're going to work out a way to do uh, live things to help with the homeschooling, maybe tomorrow. To set up a zoom chat for that i'm leaving zuckerberg out of it they don't want your kids to know science and i think that's why they've shut me down tonight and i'm feeling very targeted this week and i never feel like giving up so australia looks to me like um you're gonna breathe a bit of a sigh of relief okay i'm gonna i'm gonna totally disagree with every major fear porn that says you're getting major rains within the next 10 days here. I say the only major rain you're going to get is still way over here. Because look, this big mass here, 10 days from now, when this moves your way, that's when Robert's going to start paying attention again. Right? Because it's got to come all the way to here. And when it gets to here, a decision will get made. And the EMF from up here, coming up from out of the harp device in Alaska here, has generated so much high pressure, it's pretty much already angled the, they're calling it La Nina, and I call that a bunch of crap. I call it EMF. Move this at an angle away from the equator and more towards the southern tropics. And that means you're going to have a very wet year, very wet winter, but you've got gaps in it. Yeah, gaps where storms will still go up this direction, where moisture will still be decided to go up here, because you've got a lot of areas in the next 10 days that are going to experience a lot of water. Taipei is one of them. Thailand, you guys are absolutely really getting your monsoon season f sooner than normal, <laughs> right? Or should we say the man-made weather so too soon, right? The whole path of China is getting it. What do the rice paddies need flooding? Because they, they do need water. And that's about the temperate zone where you'd find those. I wasn't being funny about that. But there's a lot of moisture. As I look at the world's moisture, almost most of it's here. Now I'm going to go through my maps. It's going to take a little longer. It's going to do it off one screen. So your totals are looking uh, low. Now, you got a few stormy days coming. Well, that's a fact. But most of that is just normal sized storms. Right? Adelaide, you got some rumblers coming through. You'll have rumblers coming through, and you'll have some fairly heavy rains through here. But it's not no catastrophics. No catastrophics in this tropic. And it's a nice break for y'all. So you can calm down and have a little bit of ease when you hear some of these storms and go, okay, well, that's just a rain. Whew. Some of these will be heavy, but I don't see the pattern available with the with the pressures to make that. 
Yeah, oh, Lismore, that's, that's some heavy rains, right, in this area. But calm, it's not what you had, all right? It's not the setup where all these are flooded and all your rivers are bursting and everything. So everything's cool. And that's mostly why I keep cracking on to this take four tonight to tell you guys, relax. You got a bit of a break in this uh, monsoon season. This not so nina. El Nina. Nina means small, man. This is a big. This is a grande geoengineering. It's not your own, bro. There's some big rumblers off the coast of uh, Harvey Bay here. Just your normal rains. I don't see the big flooding event. The moisture's just not there. It's gone, man. It left the building. I told you that one was going to kiss the coast and. And I wouldn't know where it was manipulated. Well, I see, you to see the beam? Right, the beam is here. Do, 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 do. The beam is on. It was like one of the last ones. I'll go Domain Global. It was one of the last frames. I ain't got to go very hard, far for it. See it up here. Oh man. There it is. There she goes. So there's the manipulator. There's the atmospheric heater. There's the high pressure generator. And boy, was that a blast. See it? Oh, fine. Sorry, it's jumping, but that's just the way it rolls. Maybe if I bring it all the way to one side, it stays there. Hang on, I'm moving it. All right, I'm sorry about that. I'll do it some jumpies. Right, big old beam here popped this. Bzzz, went all across Australia, right here. And created a conduit. So only the moisture. Well, you had to hit on, on there and there. You got some new radars. Look at that V shape. And that goes up there. Right? So where these cross, your beams are crossing. Right? Changes where the amplitude is of the waveform. So we're either adding or subtracting magnitudes of uh, impetus, if you will. That's a big pop. That's not your satellite break. A well, satellite break would be a line where they splice an image because there's no splice down here. Bit of a fuzz in Antarctica. Anything tickling down here? Sorry about the motion when it does it. Yeah, a little tickle here. On and off. Yeah. Yep, on and off. We do have some Antarctica action manipulating this, showing signs of geoengineering, but the biggest sign of all is this. And it's probably done with a ship. There's your timestamp. The microwave is on, atmospheric heaters are on. That's probably a ship. Now, ships. Right, you ready for this? You guys are showing me this little boy. Nah, Chinese spy ship. Watch this one. This is big. Oh, shiny sh Schwab. Watch, I spelled it wrong. Images. Right, that's, these are little. We got big ones out there. This is the big one. This one here is big. It's been refitted as well. These are just, these are big. They got a lot of devices on them, right? They, these are big radars. They got one with four. This is, and this is like a laser. Lasers for clouds. They got Dopplers all on it. That is teamed with its other one. And the fact it's numbered five should tell you something. It must be an efficient device. And yeah, this is, it's absolute beast and it can make really big what i call a womp right a really big womp and there's a lot of vessels out there capable of doing a lot of beaming 
but this would be the most likely sus suspect another one to do that beam I mean these are big is that in Suva and these are on your ocean right these are the these are the big atmospheric heaters and they're not a harp it's a total different ball game these right Chinese spy ships and I've seen great pictures of them whenever they pull into Suva Bay in Fiji I haven't sent any of those in a while. Did these things show up? Anybody in Fiji watching? If any of these show up, let me know. That's big. Yeah. Really big one. Really, really big. Um, let's go back to... Now I'm taking you through Mimic and showed you there was a beam. I'll take you back to Windy. So I'm having to do this on one screen. It's going to get choppy. There's going to be stoppages in the sound and all that kind of stuff. But as you can see, you're really... I ain't saying you're out of the woods because you got a long season and a lot of moisture. Because even this moisture here with the correct womp could be sent down. But that womp that went out here is going to send that north. It can't can't go down south with that big beam see I know that beam is there so knowing that's there I can predict how are those flows going to be affected by it and it's going to take this moisture here is gone all that's gone there ain't a chance in hell that's coming back that's out of here you got a new ball game now whatever came in from this corner comes up and over and in any other moisture the only route in because the pressure is up here right Remember I showed you pressure. The only way in is here. Your 14 lines here. Flow is this way. And this way from the coast. That's all you can have it from. So you don't have the moisture there to make a huge event. It's just not there. So if it gets there, that would be very surprised. I won't know how it would get there. Other than pulling it out of the moisture, out of the soil itself. And the weather plan really just has your normal amount of showers. It is going to be rainy. But it's not going to be drainy if you will where you're going to be having to drain out everything in your house this high pressure actually over this island should in the, in the old days would make it so that there would be a beautiful day you have no clouds remember when a high pressure day you, you'd have no clouds over you well that's changed now you got just chem city over the top of you so really you got a you got a breath of air coming there'll be some showery stuff coming along during the week which i'll i'll, I'll keep you posted on and the tropics here are still copping it. Just around Fiji is just getting out of the woods. But these little islands here, they ain't had it too good. They've had it a lot worse than y'all have. And that looks all special and everything. But there's, there's almost no chance of that coming ashore. I, I just don't see it. I see it influencing New Zealand in about, I don't know, from now. I've got six, seven days. Watch, it'll come ashore and you'll get, you'll get a bit of heavy rain here. Toward uh, toward the end of next week, maybe about Wednesday. Watch, because I looked at your uh, your accumulations as this came in, and this pressure is low enough to to put some quake risk. But because the low is coming through this side, the um the binding is usually here, so most of your quake action will happen down here. Sorry, but that's where it just does. It's a pattern I noticed. So you will have some very, very heavy rains this day here, um, New Zealand. I'll turn the, turn the, blah, the particles animation. So it looked like big winds ro roaring through the straits. If you're out there in my boat, my friend Kevin, uh, find safe harbor next week. That'd be a good day to go in and go bowling up in here right in here near Picton that should be a good spot for you my friend I'm sorry I'm talking to a fisherman friend of mine that's a good harbor over here no not that one's too windy yeah right in here could be your you could be your safe spot my friend right just helping someone sorry I do a lot more than you ever realize I 
Watch out for my wakas. Yeah, you see, there's your heavy storms coming in about Wednesday. That was about right. And that is heavy. So around those time, your rain accumulations are going to tick up. Because you ain't getting much in these five days. But then you get a whammo. You hit. And it's a lot. That's a lot of rain in those events. So localized flooding could be expected in the mountainous areas where all the uh, the rivers drain into the flats. Right? And the whole coast is normal this time of year for it to get clobbered. And it's getting clobbered. Right, there's your basic forecast, folks. Um, your chem, how'd your chem look? It, uh, not too good. Yeah, I saw that over on the other side, but, um, like I said, I've done four takes, is my voice is about gone. But I did not give up. I'm gonna even look back, did I, did I still running? Yeah, something's going on, I don't get it. Somebody, it's aired me out, but I showed you a picture of it so nobody thinks I'm bullshitting. Somebody, somebody's going around saying I'm scamming people, and I'm not really happy about it. It's kind of lowering me. But it's not stopping me from doing this four times in a row until I get it right. And I, I have 20 times in a row within me tonight. I'm a very, very persistent. Right? Look at these chem bombs here. Boom, boom, boom go those plumes. Over the top, these square forms out here. Taking a bite out of the bite. They do not want you to see this. When you're ruled by not seeable future, by not sees, we do not want you to see these things. N-O-T-S-E-E-S, -E -E not sees. Fucking hell, would you look at the guilt through this haze of shit? Boom, boom, boom. Chemtrail, 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 chemtrail. A little bit of EMF lines going over here. Bzzz, frying up some fish. Did the wine need a bit of cooking? Who knows? Have a little chemicals inside your wine. A little sulfate, a little aluminum. Swish it around in your mouth. Gargle with a little bit of barium. Have it, have it, have it, have it. They're monkeying around, ain't they? They're a pox upon all our houses doing this shit. Absolute bunch of monkey pox. Monkey pox. Look at this shit. And I'm not saying this is monkey pox. Don't ever say that this is monkey pox. But uh, bullshit is bullshit. And something that's been around for a long time is uh, isn't new, okay? And this has been around for a long time, and that ain't new. The monkeypox ain't new either. Treatable with a vaccine that's been in existence. Bye, bye, bye. Sell, sell, sell. And you go bye, 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 bye. It's a grave situation. Square forms over here frying the fuck out of people. Bzzz. Sensor in the sky is next. Don't talk about the sky. No, it's illegal to look up now. We're going to hinge us all down, hunch all our backs, and tape our fucking foreheads to a rubber band and put it on our waist so we never see the sky. Or you never ever notice how square things have become instead of round. When a circulation becomes square, something is wrong. And when you get a bad weather going on and you start seeing squares and like and the kid drew like a little house over here, you something is wrong. Something is man made. Man made weather is real. Man made weather is not a conspiracy. Don't tell me how do other people that breathe this air protect themselves, the people that are doing this. They have access to military air filtration systems and all sorts of of kinds of that snow, isn't it? All, all kinds of EMF uh, protective windows, paints, insulations. They have access to dialysis machines and other health care that we cannot even fathom the cost of. But they just look at it and say, give it. They never look at the price on the menu, the people that do this. Why? Because we're on the menu. But they got enough money to buy the world. They buy the world. The whole fucking world has been bought, sold, and you're on it. What you going to do about it? What you gonna do? They have come for you.